Well, hi, and uh, my name is Michael Seary, and I'm currently a student on DIT's MSc in Applied E-Learning, and uh, I've just been asked to give my thoughts on the course so far. So I'm in my first year, having com completed uh, semester one, and I suppose the two main features I feel about the program at DIT are that um, the first is you've access to a wide range of expertise right across the panorama of um, learning and e-learning. So uh, what I feel is as well as having access to technical experts in terms of people who know about various software and various approaches to uh, e-authoring and developing materials for the web or for online, there's also a very strong core in the Learning and Teaching Technology Centre regarding uh, pedagogic rationale and underlying instructional design. Um, and this is obviously very important because it's probably a little bit easier just as maybe I do just to go off and make up lots of nice materials, but we really need to consider, well, how is the student going to benefit from these? So that I think that's the first um, key feature, this idea that there's a balance between uh, uh, in the expertise between uh, the technical software side and the um, pedagogy side or undergraduate side. The second, I suppose, follows on from that and, and, and the programme itself really balances quite nicely, I think, modules that are uh, geared towards theoretical underpinnings and modules that are geared towards uh, practice and, and implementing theory and practice. And I, I think it balances it quite nicely in that the structure of the program overall allows um, uh, the sort of us as students, I suppose, to sort of realise maybe why we're we're designing modules in a particular way and 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 the, and the approach to designing modules. So, for example, it, there's a an instructional design and e-authoring module which basically work in as a, in a small group to develop a resource, and really this is your sort of freedom to express yourself in your own areas of interest you can sort of pick a topic that you're interested in pick a, a resource development tool you're interested in and, and 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 sort of use that to to whatever level you want to in developing a resource and i suppose in a shameless act of self-promotion i'll put a, a a mention for our group resource which was uh becoming a new teacher and I, i'll put a link to the site um and that's it really if you're thinking about doing the program I hope you enjoyed. I'll probably see you in the corridors at Mount Street. And um, that's all.